What's up everybody, Flying Scorpion here with Stellaris modding tutorial video number 11, while loops. While loops allow you to repeat a process uh, a number of times so you don't have to keep pasting it or running the event again and again. So I've got an example here of an event that creates an army. It is a planet scoped event. This is the ID. I'm going to copy that ID, so control C, copy that. Uh, there's going to be no window, it's going to hide the window, it's triggered only, and I'm going to be triggering it with a console window. Uh, the immediate effect is that it's going to create an army. The name is going to be random. The owner of the army is going to be me, the owner of the planet. The species is going to be the same species as, as my species. And the type will be an undead army. So let's go into the game, and I'm going to click on the planet that I want to run the event on. I'm going to press the tilde key which is right here on the keyboard. That's this weird little squiggly line. Press the tilde key and you get this little uh, console window up on the top left. And then type in event and then paste the ID of the event that you're going to run. So I'm going to run the event and I now have an army that has spawned right up here. If I unpause the game, it'll actually pop into existence. There it is. So it worked. It created an army. Now, let's say I want to create more than one army, I want to create five armies. Well, I could do this, but this is a really inefficient way to do it. It works, and when you look at other people's mods, you'll see that they do stuff like this, but that's because they don't know about while loops. So this is what it would look like if you did it that way. And we're going to run this event real quick here. So I'm going to click on the planet, open the tilde, or the console menu, I'm going to type in event, the name of this event. And now I've got five armies. One, two, three, four, five. And if I unpause it, they'll pop into existence. There they are. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to let those trails go away. The more efficient way to do this is with while loops. And while loops are very powerful. You can nest a while loop within a while loop, but I don't recommend you do that because that can kill your game performance. But um, here you go. So we've got a planet event. The ID is the same thing, but 1003 is the number at the end. Hide window, yes. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, here we go. Here's the interesting part. Immediate. While count equals five and then create army. So this part right here that comes right after the while loop tells the while loop how many times to repeat the process. Now you can put a number in there, any number you want, like 5,000, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to ruin game performance. Um, or you can type in a variable here, so whatever the variable's name is. And we'll talk about variables in another video. But for now, we're just going to run this while loop five times, and it's uh, going to create those five armies. So let's click on here. Event, 1003, enter, and there we go. We now have five armies, and rather than copying and pasting this over and over again, we did it with a while loop. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. I want to give a shout out to somebody that uh, supported me on Patreon, <clears throat> Sidewad. Uh, I can afford to give you a one-time payment of $25. I like your videos and hope you can continue making tutorials for people looking to customize Solaris in their own way. Thank you. I appreciate it. And that's a big reason why I made this video. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please leave a like. And um, see you in the next one. Bye.